very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so of course as usual we just want to share with you the results from the extreme premium forex signals group and thankfully it was also another great week uh, we had a lot of profits uh, on 15 june on monday uh, we can see that we had approximately more than 100 pips of profit because we had only two small losses such as 22 pips and 30 pips of losses against 52, 120 and 30 pips of profit. Also June 16 was a great day, only one loss with 5 pips and that's it. The rest of the signals were in profit as we can see more than 130 pips of profit made in one day. Then 17th June, we can see that we had approximately more than 100 pips of profit. Only the bad day, I would assume it was 18th June. We had only one signal that has reached the take profit level 3 with 100 pips of profit, uh, while, the, while the rest uh, actually were in a small losses. I mean, it's not 50 pips of loss. I mean, it's just 30 or 25. We are doing our best to reduce the losses to the maximum when they are happened. Uh, finally Friday was really another great day only look at the losses they are very small and tiny 11 pips of loss and 20 pips of loss against 50 pips of profit 100 pips of profit and 20 pips of profit now let's see what are the members thinking about the signals uh, thanks thanks for your amazing signals I made 100 pips uh, uh, profit on my equity a week after subscription to your channel he doubled his account actually that's great that's what i really like to hear you have uh, you were able to double your account using our forex signals uh, great signal sister the angela uh, thankful for that well done angela what a good first day part of the signals were by you and the other gold um, this is example here as you can see for those who are assuming that many of us not getting the take profit level 3 this gentleman here he have reached the uh, take uh, or his signal that signal he took on the pound cad hit take profit level 3 so this is confirming that a lot of members actually reaching the targets of take, take profit level number 3 thanks for the great signals once again Angela have a lovely weekend and I will say the same thank you Angela what a great signals we had this week and I'm very happy and glad to see the results. If you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact Angela. You can find her contact details in the description below this video. Contact her today and hopefully we will see you there. So now moving on to the weekly analysis and as usual, we are going to start with the Euro USD. Now the wonderful thing about the Euro USD that we are finally seeing the pattern of head and shoulders, which indicating that the Euro USD is going to continue the fall for this week. And most likely what will gonna happen is that the Euro USD is gonna continue the fall until it hit that previous support level right here. Let me just confirm to you to which level we can start keep shorting the goal. Uh, sorry, the Euro USD exactly up to that level to the support level here. So uh, what we are seeing right now is that the Euro USD has made two attempts on the resistance on 1.1253 which was also a previously strong resistance in the past now what we can do is actually draw a, a resistance trend line right on that level like that and we can see that the euro usd is seems to be able to continue the fall and still inside this channel of the resistance of actually this channel right that like that like this so the euro usd is still inside this channel and what I assume is going to happen for this week at the beginning of the week on opening at Monday, uh, we can see that we had here a previous support level and the Euro USD has actually made the reversal on that support. We had here a support number one and right here the pair now is on the creation of support number two. It's making the second attempt of that support. Now most likely what will going to happen that the pair is going to bounce at that level of the, res uh, of the support. Uh, falling, oh sorry, rising a little bit more up, retesting the broken support on 1.12116 and then also continuing the pattern of the trend line inside the channel and then after that it's going to continue falling. Therefore, we can look for a short this week for the Euro USD sell at the level 1. Point, oh shit, sorry, sorry my friends, hold on. Sell at 1.21 one six did i write it correctly no nah, wrong this is actually a major problem i'm having when i'm typing the numbers anyway 
we can start shorting the euro usd at 1.1216 and as you can see we're having the safe box here or what what is also a safe zone where you can keep the trade running if it goes against us and if it reached that level of the resistance and then made a bullish breakout candle out of that resistance level then we need to close the trade with the loss because it seems that the pair was actually able to break out from the resistance right here and right here on 1.1250 now actually uh, a lot of members mistaking this as a stop loss but i need to remind everyone this is not a stop loss level guys this is just a safe zone and it's up to you actually i need to clear something here that these are not actually a signals uh, these are my advices that i'm telling that the market structure might actually be moving like that we can expect the market to actually make to rise a little bit here and then continue the fall however please don't take this as uh, signals without i mean some people actually skipping the video they are just not listening they just see the signals and then just uh, take it take them write them down and that's it they are not listening to, to my voice they are not listening to what i'm saying they have to actually if they, if they don't do that it's just their fault not mine anyway so as i said this is the stop uh, this is the sell area here and we can keep the thread running expecting 118 pips of profit this is going to, to be our take profit level at 1.10952 so hopefully this is uh, gonna work and we will have a good week with the euro usd let's now move to the pound usd now for the pound usd we can see almost the same thing happening right now uh, what we're seeing right here is a resistance level on 1.23509 that resistance on the four hour time frame has been finally breaking out and that is the, the bullish breakout candle which was also a support in the past however we can notice that this was not really a strong support yet it is still a support and we can expect the market to keep its position so this support level might keep its position right here and then the market might bounce a little bit uh, retesting the broken support on 1.23903 uh, and then continue the fall and as we can see we're having also a strong resistance in the past right here at that level and the very same level was also a strong support in the past and as a resistance therefore we can see that we are having right here the sell area and that is our safe box or the safe zone where we can keep the trade running for almost 60 pips before we decide the stop loss so pound usd is going to be good for the short this week at the level 1.23903 and we can keep the trade running all the way until the market hit that support level right here as we can see we are having right here a strong support level and it was already here a support number one that support has kept its position as a support and we can keep the trade running uh, until the market actually uh, reach the, uh, the support number two so that's going to be our take profit level take profit as 1.22473 so again what i'm expecting from the market is to move like that a little bit like this go down then bouncing and go up here hitting the previous resistance level right here and then continue the fall also it's a potential uh, rising here we can see that the pair actually might uh, rise a little bit make a second attempt to retest the broken support level at 1.24530 before it actually decide to, con to continue falling therefore we need to be very careful when we are trading the pound usd uh, because there is a potential of almost 60 almost yeah 60 pips i count them 60 pips uh, before we decide uh, if, the, if we see any bullish breakout candle from that level then we need to close it with the loss however honestly speaking i don't see this is happening most likely the pound usd is gonna rise only for uh, 40 pips no more than that before we start shorting the pair now moving on to the uh, AUD usd and i would like you to listen to me please because this is very important now for the euro usd if we need to study this, the structure what we are seeing right here is a previous key support level at 0 0.68734 next that uh, previous support level has become the new resistance and later on 
the very same level of the support has kept its position as a support now there is a key as there is a catch here some people actually might think that this is a bearish breakout candle and here they would assume this is a bearish breakout candle however the act the truth is not these are not bearish breakout candle these are what we call a fake breakout from that resistance as we can see uh, they are just a part of that resistance level right here again this is the resistance like that and that is the support level the bearish breakout candle is actually right this one here this is the one because this is the support uh, line here and the candle that has actually made the breakout from the support is right here this one not this one this one is just a part of the resistance because as I see as I said the resistance level is exactly like that all right so this one also here is a bearish breakout candle so what does that mean that means that we are still in the attempt of the resistance that there was no actually a break out of it and therefore what we are going to do is we are going to continue shorting the AUD USD right after it bounces from that support right here and here so what we are going to do um, the as I said the AUD USD most likely is going to bounce it's going to hit the previous resistance level which I have marked right here and it was also a previous support level right here and right here therefore we can start shorting the AUDUST right after it hit that level and then it's gonna continue falling so let me just uh, get rid of that extra line here one second alright okay good so uh, AUDUST should be good for the short at 0.68734 and as you can see we're having here the safe box and uh, it is just aiming the top of the resistance and again honestly speaking I don't think the pair is gonna be able to reach that zone <coughs> most likely it will just rise for 40 pips and then start the fall and in this case we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit that previous support level right here so we can look for almost uh, 100 pips of profit from the AUD USD take profit level is on 0 0.67767 that's gonna be the key support level and most likely we need to wait any price action to know what will gonna happen after the market to reach that level um, from my point of view it's gonna continue falling however we need to see the reaction how it's gonna react to that strong key support level so that's the signal for the AUD USD and hopefully you are going to make a lot of profits with it now for the USD CAD for the USD CAD we can still keep our positions for the buy this week USD CAD seems like it's gonna continue the rise it was ranging at that level for quite long time we can see that the pair was actually not able to break out of the resistance on 1.36159 that resistance is very strong and the pair was ranging on it for the whole week and after seeing that we can see that the pair has actually made a strong bullish momentum after uh, the bouncing from that support level right here therefore what we can expect now is actually the continuation of the bullish momentum and we can see that the market might fall a little bit down here and create the support number two because we already here have a support number one let's see it clearly we had here the resistance which has been broken out eventually by this bullish breakout candle and that later on that, uh, that resistance has become the new support as we can see we had support number one so it means that the USD CAD is able actually to rise and eventually is gonna break out from the resistance level on 1.3159 therefore uh, we are just gonna wait for the pair to reach the support number two level and then we are going to buy the USD CAD and keep the trade running all the way until it hit that resistance level right here therefore this week the signal for the CAD is going to be for the buy at 1.35677 and as we can see we are having the safe box here which is going to last for almost 50 pips before we decide if uh, the trade is gonna be in loss only if we see a bearish breakout candle out of that uh, support zone and by the way you need to wait the candle to actually close as a bearish breakout candle 
not just because the candle was able to break out from that level means that red is gonna be in loss you have to wait the candle to close my friends you have to see how the, what is the final shape of the candle if it's a, a breakout candle or if it's gonna be a pin bar it all makes a lot of difference anyway uh, this is the signal right here or the analysis as I said uh, the USD CAD is gonna move like that and the take profit level is gonna be placed take profit level is on 1.36 sorry 36854 hopefully we're gonna make good profits with the USD CAD signal or the analysis sorry I'm avoiding using the word signals because I don't want people to, to, to treat them literally as a signals anyway now for the USD GPY the USD GPY actually continue falling and as we can see the the pair has made this major fall here breaking out from all of these support and resistance levels the pair just kept falling right here and finally it is right now ranging at that resistance level the pair has made so many attempts to break out from the resistance at 107.54 however it seems like the pair is really unable to continue the rise and finally uh, it's gonna actually give up and fall uh, the support right here is actually very strong right here and it was also a strong support in the past right here and right here as well and of course not to mention right here uh, the price as I said is not able to break out of it after this strong bearish momentum and seems like the pair is actually gonna continue the fall therefore we can start again shorting the USD GPY at the level 107.054 and this is the safe box we're having here for for nearly of um, 48 pips only and of course we need to wait any bullish breakout candle breaking out of that level and as I said we are expecting the pair to rise a little bit hit the, hitting that previous support level which was many attempts of the resistance before continue the fall and for the tech profit level it's gonna be placed at that support level right here let me show you exactly right here like that perfect so we cannot expect much uh, profit from the uh, USD GPY this week uh, actually you know something I actually might increase the take profit a little bit that should be more convenient actually yes it is at that support level yes it's gonna continue definitely yes so the take profit level is gonna be approximately 62 pips of profit at 106.194 hopefully we will make good profits with these signals finally the USD CHF we can see that the pair is still ranging just similar to the USD CAD the pair is not able to break out from the resistance at 0 0.95226 however it is uh, on a bearish uh, no, sorry in no, a bullish momentum right now and we can see that the pair has made what seems like a head and shoulders pattern and therefore we can expect the pair to continue the rise right after making a third attempt of support at that level on 0 0.94893 so we can start actually by the USD, the USD CHF at the level uh, 0 0.94893 and as we can see this is the safe zone we're having and if uh, the USD CHF was actually able to break out from that level we can keep the trade running for almost 100 pips of profit are gonna be made from this signal uh, take profit level is on 0 0.95868 hopefully we will make some good profit out of this signal now let's move on to the gold I which I have actually give a lot of uh, thoughts before making the video actually you don't know that but the video is my uh, sorry the the gold is on my top concerns when I'm making the weekly analysis video I mean in just less than 15 minutes I can make the analysis for the forex uh, or for the currency pairs but when I'm going to the gold I spend literally more than uh, 30 minutes or could be an hour of just researching and analyzing just to be sure of the signal I'm giving because it's um, more than it's a more actually the gold is 
fundamental uh, analysis more than it be a technical analysis. Therefore, we need to be sure about the gold uh, if the prices of the oils are stable or not, if the prices of the gold are going to be stable, what is the situation for the US dollar, uh, the US government, uh, the commercial war between them and China. All of these things we need to put in mind before we deciding uh, sending the signal for the gold. However, um, after making some checkings and some analysis, it seems that the gold is actually going to keep rising all the way. If we go to the weekly analysis, or sorry, the weekly chart, we can see that we are having right here a resistance level. We are here at the top of the resistance. This one here. The gold was not able to actually break out from that resistance level for a long time. Uh, it's actually 1765 and eventually we can see that the pair is going to be able to continue the rise and to ri to reach that resistance level right here that is what i believe is going to happen the pair is going to continue rising therefore what we need to look for right now is where we can start buying the gold now as we can see for the gold we had the resistance uh, trend line three or four actually four attempts on that resistance trend line before the gold was actually able to make the break out of that resistance now what's gonna happen uh, most likely that the pair is gonna reverse right at that at that resistance and gonna continue falling all the way until it hit the previous support level right here and here and to retest the broken resistance and as we can see we had this resistance uh, trend line here and now it's gonna be a new support trend line before it's gonna continue rising all the way reaching the top level of that resistance so the gold is expected to move like that i believe the gold is gonna rise a little bit and then finally gonna fall down before it continue the rising all the way until it hit the top of the resistance so we can start actually buying the pair buy the gold at 1732.83 and you can keep your trade running all the way until it hit that top of the resistance at 1765 now, of course, if that happens, it's going to give us a really uh, amazing number of profits. We are talking about 324 pips of profit and the safe box is marked for only almost 73 pips of losses. Hopefully won't happen. And please don't close your, uh, the trade if you see the pair actually reaching the, uh, the 1725.62 uh, because it's also as uh, the lowest level of that support level so most likely if if that happens if the pair actually continue rising a little bit then falling down it might fall down to hit that previous support level and then it's gonna continue the rise so please don't close your trade in loss immediately we have to wait and just be more patient to see you the price action uh, that's gonna occur here so we can know if we can keep the trade running or not so uh, hopefully it's gonna be another great and profitable uh, profitable week for everyone and uh, if anything happened if anything uh, gonna change these signals i will post uh, that on the next midweek analysis video and as usual we might have to do a an earlier uh, midweek analysis video and until then i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching